Question 7 from Section 2 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. Protons are accelerated by an electric field between metal plates A and B in a vacuum. Part of the apparatus is used as shown below. I've been asked for two marks to explain why the protons are accelerated by the electric field. Well, we can visualise the electric field. There it is there. You can see the lines of electric field. And these electric field lines tell us that a positively charged particle in that electric field will experience a force which is shown by the direction of the arrows there. So any charged particle in an electric field will experience a force. And if it's a positive charged particle, it'll experience a force and thus an acceleration in the direction of the field lines as shown. Now, a proton is a positive charge, so that will experience a force from left to right. Therefore, it's going to accelerate from A to B. So the electric field does work on the positive charge and it accelerates it through the electric field. Question 7, Part B, Part I. A proton is travelling at a speed of 3.8 times 10 to the power 5 metres per second at plate A. And for two marks, you have to show that the kinetic energy of the proton at plate A is 1.2 times 10 to minus 6 joules. We know the formula for the kinetic energy, Ek, actually is simply equal to 1 half times the mass times the speed squared of the moving object. Now we know the mass of the proton. The mass of the proton is going to be equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And we're told that it's going to be moving at a speed v of equal to 3.8 times 10 to the power 5 metres per second. And we can ignore any relativistic effects in this question. So all we have to do is just work out the kinetic energy, Ek, is simply going to be equal to 1 half times the mass of the proton, which you've got there is 1.67, you'll find that in the data book. And we have to multiply that by the speed squared, 3.8 times 10 to the power 5, and don't forget to square the speed as shown. So the kinetic energy of the particle you work on your calculator comes out to be 1.2 times 10 to the minus 16 joules and that's what we've been asked to show. Question 7, part B, part 2. The potential difference between plates A and B is 2.8 kilovolts and we have to calculate the work done on the proton as it accelerates from plate A to plate B. Remember, the electric field does the work on the proton, and therefore the work done, W, is always equal to the charge, Q, of the charged particle times the potential difference that it goes through. So we know the charge on a proton, that's going to be plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And we know that the potential difference, V, is given as 2.8, and it's kilovolts, we have to say, times 10 to the power 3 volts. So all we have to do is just put those into the equation and the work done is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 multiplied by 2.8 times 10 to the power 3 and that will give us an answer of 4.5 times 10 to the minus 16 joules because remember work done is energy transferred and it's measured in joules. So the answer is 4.5 times 10 to the minus 6 joules. Question 7 in part B, part 3. Determine the speed of the proton at plate B. Now let's take a look at the diagram to see where all the energies have been coming from. There's the diagram of the electric plates with the electric field in between them. And you can see that as the proton enters the electric field at A, it already has got some kinetic energy of the value 1.2 times 10 to minus 16 joules. When it passes through A and B, there's going to be work done on that proton, and that work done is going to be energy transferred, and it appears as added kinetic energy. So the final kinetic energy as it reaches plate B is going to be the sum of the initial kinetic energy plus the work done on the particle by the electric field. So we just need to add up those two particular values to get the final kinetic energy, which we'll call Ek final, and that's it at B. That's going to be equal to the original kinetic energy, which is going to be 1.2 times 10 to the minus 16 joules. 
I'm going to add on to that the work done by the electric field which gives the proton that extra energy which appears as kinetic energy and that amounts to 4.5 times 10 to the minus 16 joules. So we add up to get the complete kinetic energy and the answer becomes 5.7 times 10 to minus 16 joules. So that's the complete total kinetic energy that particle, that proton has when it reaches plate B. But we're asked to find the speed of the proton at plate B and in doing so we have to rearrange the kinetic energy formula. We know that the kinetic energy Ek is going to equal to 1 half m v squared. So we have to extricate v from that particular expression and to do that we should have the steps well rehearsed. We multiply both sides by 2, that will get rid of the half. We're left with m v squared. We divide both sides by m and that's going to get rid of the m on the right hand side. So we're going to have an expression 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass is going to be equal to v squared. And therefore to find v on its own we have to take the square root of double the kinetic energy divided by the mass of the particle. And that will work out, that will give us the speed of the proton as it's reached plate B. So we can put in the numbers now, we know the total kinetic energy is going to be square root of bracket 2 times the total kinetic energy which is 5.7 times 10 to the minus 16 and we're going to divide that by the mass of the proton and we look it up in the data book and we get the mass of the proton to be 1.67 times 10 to minus 27 kilograms. So we're all set for a calculation and we plug that into our calculators we get V equals 8.3 times 10 to the power 5 meters per second. And that's just got the speed of the proton as it reaches plate B. So the key thing is to know this part here and to have this well rehearsed because they'll ask you to find the kinetic energy and then to find the speed of the moving object and you must be very much able to go through those steps as quickly as you can and effortlessly as you can and well rehearsed. Question 7 continued part C. The distance between plates A and B is now doubled. The potential difference between plates A and B is unchanged and another proton with the same initial speed at plate A is accelerated between the plates. State what effect, if any, this has on the speed of the proton at plate B. And you must justify your answer. And you're going to get two marks for that. So to justify the answer and to come up with your final conclusion, we look at the following statement. The speed of the proton at plate B depends, as we worked out in this problem, only on its initial kinetic energy at plate A plus the work done on it by the electric field. Now, it's going to have the same speed, therefore it's going to have the same kinetic energy as the other proton. So the only thing which is going to be dependent is going to be the work done on the proton. And what's the equation for the work done of a charged particle in the electric field? It's going to be work done equals QV. So you can see from that equation the work done on the proton depends only on its charge and the potential difference between the plates. Now, we're dealing with another proton, which means it's got the same charge, it's got the same potential difference, so if we're going to have the same work done on that proton. So you've got the same initial kinetic energy, you've got the same work done on the proton. So therefore, increasing the distance between the plates really has no effect on the work done and the final kinetic energy of the proton. Therefore, no effect on the final speed of the proton. The final speed of the proton remains the same because there's no expression for the distance between the plates in the work done equation W equals QV. So therefore, our answer to that is there's going to be no change in the proton speed, uh, this new proton speed as it enters into the electric field and leaves it. I'll leave those three statements up for a minute. You can pause the video and you can read them and rehearse your argument. Thank you. 